Hi guys, welcome again to another video of our call regs and this time we will be discussing about call regs rule 30. So hi again, I'll be discussing today what is the explanation for our rule 13 and our rule 13 is about overtaking vessels. To review, we have already discussed in the previous videos Rule 11 and Rule 12. Rule 11, the title is? Application. The Rule 12, yes, it looks like a sailboat. Sailing vessels. Now, for our Rule 13. Rule 13 is entitled Overtaking Vessels. Now, for the overtaking vessels, uh, my teacher told me that I need to imagine now that the, the 13, yung 3 is parang yung nag overtake na ship. So, parang ito yon. There is a ship, and then, nag overtake tong isa. No? Parang nag overtake daw yung isa. So, that's rule 13. Overtaking. To, to easily remember, I've, I've been giving you things on how to easily remember the the rule titles. Like the rule 5, no? it looks like a man holding a binocular with a big belly. That's rule 5. Rule 7, risk of collision because it seems like dalawang ship, no? Nagbabanggaan and many other more I'll be giving you. Uh, these are actually, thank I'm thankful to my instructors who taught me about this one. And I can easily remember the rules, no? So I'm sharing it to you as well. No? So rule 13 is about overtaking, no? Overtaking vessels natin. Now rule 13, it is entitled overtaking. Uh, the first paragraph, notwithstanding anything contained in the rules of this section, any vessel overtaking any other shall keep out of the way of the vessel being overtaken. That is very simple, easy, easy to understand. Because the key terminologies there is the overtaken vessel and the overtaking vessel. Going back, babalikan natin. Babalikan natin. This one, no? Ang keywords natin dito is overtaking and the overtaking taken vessel. Let us understand no, what is overtaking vessel and what is overtaken vessel. Pag sinabi natin overtaken vessel, sa yung barko na inovertaken ng isa pang barko. And on this side is the overtaking vessel. no. That overtaking vessel will overtake or will go ahead of the other vessel. No? So again, when I say, uh, when we say overtaken vessel, that is the ship, no, being overtaken, or will be the one uh, na mali left behind. Kung maga, kasi ang overtaking vessel will be the one who will be ahead of the other vessel. Okay, to continue. Now, the paragraph B: A vessel shall be deemed to be overtaken when coming up with another vessel from all the from a direction more than 22.5 po yan ha? hindi 22.5 I'm so sorry 22.5 degrees above her beam oh you can still remember your above term in your marker or in your uh, other subjects no above the beam that is in such a position with reference to the vessel she is overtaking that at night she would be able to see only the stern light of that vessel but neither of her side lights. Let's scrutinize this paragraph. No? Ang sabi dito, should be deemed to be overtaking vessel when you are coming up with another vessel from a direction more than 22.5 degrees above her beam. So take note that this is the beam of this vessel. Beam niya to. This is actually her starboard beam. On the other side, perpendicular to her fore and aft center line, that is her port beam. And this one is the starboard beam. Now, from the beam palikod at about 22.5 degrees, no? Yan, etong angle na to. Pag may nag-come up daw na vessel dyan, no? Pag na-notice mo, oh, 22.5 degrees above my beam. This, ma this one from my beam above palikod. No? Uh, 
it says daw that that ship to, is to uh, as an is an overtaking vessel sorry nabubulol no so from the beam 22.5 degrees abaft when we say kasi abaft from the beam towards the aft yun yung meaning ng abaft it's like a beam and the aft combined abaft no so from the beam abaft no 22.5 degrees pag may nag show up the ship diyan no and if you are this vessel and merong nag show up you need to consider this one that that ship is a overtaking vessel and also if you are this vessel and you are intending to be on this 22.5 degrees na angle you will be considered as an overtaking vessel anong responsibilities mo as i said in the first paragraph that if you are no tawag dito if you are the overtaking no vessel you are the overtaking vessel and this one is overtaken you have to keep clear dapat kang umiwas sa kanya no so if you are the overtaking vessel you have to keep clear of this ship mag-overtake ka oo aabante ka sa kanya pero hindi mo siya kailangan i-impede hindi mo siya dapat harangan hindi ka dapat uh, mag-cause ng collision sa kanya no it's like it's it's like us <laughs> Nakapag abante ka sa ibang tao, make sure na hindi ka nakakatapak ng ibang tao. Yan na. Kunyari, kunyari philosopher, you know. No? So, going back here, uh, if you are the overtaking vessel, your responsibility is to keep out the way of the other vessel. Now, according also to the paragraph, second paragraph, the paragraph B of our Rule 13, no? uh, that at night, she would be able to see only the stern light of the vessel but neither of her stern lights because you are coming to the 22.5 degrees above the beam of that certain vessel like for example this one ang makikita mo lang is the stern light because later on e eh, discuss natin to what is the visibility uh, what is the range of visibility ng mga lights natin board the ship the side light is 112.5 degrees no and the 112.5 degrees naman, 112.5 degrees naman, the side light natin, no, port and starboard, the stern light is actually 135 degrees. No? And if you're coming up 22.5 degrees, you would only see the stern light of that vessel. And when you come up, up to this angle, unti-unti mong makikita, see uh, side light. Yes, sir. Rule 13. Uh, rule, rule 13, overtaking, uh, ang tawag dito natin dito, paragraph C. When a vessel is in, uh, is in any doubt as to whether she is overtaking another, she shall assume that this is the case and act accordingly. Ang sabi do dito sa paragraph C natin, if you think the other vessel is overtaking you, you have to assume na nag overtake talaga ang barkong yan. The tendency kasi, if you will be uh, complacent enough, na sabi mo, ah, hindi naman siya mag overtake the, the tendency, you might assume na, for example, in this ship, tapos ito yung, ah, sorry, if this ship, in-overtake ito, pag hindi mo i-assume na overtaking vessel ito, yung tendency mo is, hindi ko ka, baka hindi ko ka dito. And, ito, ito naman, didiridiretso siya kasi akala niya, nag overtake siya sa'yo. Remember the rules that if another ship comes up, up comes at 22.5 degrees above your beam, that is already considered to be as, a, as an overtaking vessel. So you should assume na immediately that that is an overtaking vessel. If you are in doubt, just assume that it's an overtaking vessel. That is for safety purposes as well. Okay? Now, paragraph D. Any subsequent alteration of the bearing between the two vessels shall not make the overtaking vessel a crossing vessel within the meaning of these rules or relieve her of the duty of keeping clear of the overtaken vessel until 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 she is finally passed and clear. Ang sabi daw dito, if you have alteration of courses to make, make sure 
as I said, you will not impede or you will not uh, make harang <laughs> konyo, make harang of that certain vessel, no? That overtaken vessel, hindi mo dapat uh, harangan yung way niya. As we said, your responsibility being the overtaking vessel, you should keep clear of the other, no? As an overtaking vessel, you should uh, keep clear, no? And avoid making a crossing. You should not you should not become a crossing vessel. We will discuss that the crossing situation on the rule what? What number? Crossing situation. Rule 15. Crossing situation. And of course, that won't relieve you from your duties to avoid collision kapag nag-overtake ka at naging crossing vessel ka. Big no-no po ito. No? So you should, you should as, as much as possible, keep clear of the overtaken vessel because you're ov the overtaking and you should not become the crossing vessel and that won't relieve you. Your responsibilities pag naging crossing vessel ka dyan, no? Your, your job is to make sure that the overtaken vessel is cleared and maging clear lang yan kapag nag-overtake ka na and pass and walang risk of collision. Okay. Pupunta tayo in advance a little bit ng Rule 15, crossing situation. This is not the formal discussion about the Rule 15, ha? This is just a sort of overview of uh, what's with the Rule 15. Ang Rule 15, sinasabi dito that the vessel which has the other on her own starboard side shall keep out of the way of the other. No? So, on this situation, you have a vessel here. If you are this one, no? This one, this side is the starboard side. This one, this side is the port side. Ang sabi daw sa rule 15, if you have a vessel, kapag meron kang barko on your starboard side, pag meron kang barko sa starboard side mo, you shall keep clear sa barko na nandun sa starboard side mo. So this one becomes your stand-on vessel. Stand-on vessel that vessel who will keep her course. Give by vessel, sa yung mag alter ng course or do the maneuvering to avoid collision. No? But not all the time. Yan. Babalik ka sa rule to mo. Ang rule to responsibilities. And even though you are stand on vessel, you, you need, of course, to make necessary uh, maneuvering or actions to avoid collision even though you are stand on vessel. No? Going back here sa crossing situation natin, that is the standard vessel and you have to give way. No? Balik tayo sa rule 13. No? Sala tayong pa, ano eh, pa jump jump ng, ng rules. No? Pero going back to our rule 13. The rule 13 is overtaking situation. No? Deemed to be overtaking when coming up with another vessel at a direction of more than 22.5 degrees about her beam. Now take note, ito yung beam natin. And then, 22.5, she's coming up. And then, overtaking. Mag-overtake ka. No? Uh, this one is rule 13. Now, what happens kapag tinopak yung barkong to? Kasi gagawin niya, dito sa dadaan, dito sa dadaan, and definitely dito sa dadaan, mag-crossing situation siya. Ito, yung mangyayari sa kanya. This is a big no-no. This is the last paragraph of our uh, rule 13 that says you should not cross or you should not make any alteration of course as that would make you a crossing situation and would impede the the way of the other of this overtaken vessel now sa nangyari dito as you can see this one is an overtaking situation pa pero nung ginawa niya na to and nag alter siya mag cross siya sa ahead of this vessel ang ginawa niya naging crossing situation na siya as per rule 15 no? And that would not relieve you from your responsibilities. No? Kasi, dito, maging stand-on siya. Ah, sorry, maging giveaway siya. Ikaw maging stand-on. But that doesn't give you the relief of the sa rules na dahil naging stand-on ka na, wala ka ng responsibilities. You have still to keep clear of that ship. Take note, the last paragraph of this uh, Rule 13 says that you need to keep clear of the other and should make sure that nagpas na clear no this is a big no no for our call rates no for our steering and sailing rules no so how's our rule 13 are you still with me 
di ba? Uh, rule 13 natin talks about the overtaking situations. And to wrap it up, uh, over, uh, rule 13 natin says that you need to be very uh, careful whenever you are overtaking vessel. And you will be considered as an overtaking vessel if you were coming up 22.5 degrees from the beam of the other vessel. As an overtaking vessel, ikaw may responsibilidad para ma-make sure mo na hindi ka mag impede or you will not make any risk of collision or you will not make any uh, dangerous situation that may occur. The responsibility will be mostly with you as an overtaking vessel, but the overtaken vessel, if you're the overtaken vessel, that would not relieve you also with your responsibilities to monitor to make sure that there is no risk of collision. If uh, there is uh, a need for you to to alter course or to to take actions nasa other rules natin ito nakalagay and pwede pwede yon for the safety of the ship. Okay? So that's it for our rule 13. I hope you got something from this video. We'll be seeing each other on the next rule natin. And for any concerns, as I said, lag ko pong sinasabi. If you have questions, please do not hesitate to message me on my M rooms and at the same time, do not uh, be shy of course to message me on my F messenger. My phone is always ready for your calls, ready for your text message. If you have questions, if you're experiencing difficulty answering your mojos on your M rooms, please message me and as well, email me kung dun ka comfortable. No? And above all, amidst all this pandemic, I know we miss each other and we want to give hugs to everyone. But for the, for the meantime then, wala pa tayong mga sapat na vaccine, wala pa tayong, uh, hindi pa natin na clear ang uh, statistics. We have to stay safe. No? And you have to stay safe while learning. So I hope and wish that you will be safe always and stay healthy. Thank you and I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye!